Larry Dixon, look at those numbers on a career. I mean, the guy has a great career, Mike. A great career is an understatement. I'd love to have half the career he had, but Larry Dixon not racing this season. What, what happened there? And why are we bringing that up? And what's going on? It's because he's right here in the booth, Larry Dixon. Yes. So you got to ask, Larry, why are you here? Why <laughs> aren't you out there? First of all, I was glad to see that there wasn't an asterisk next to my name, <laughs> meaning retired or inactive. It's still, yeah, I'm active. I'm not uh, not running this weekend, this year probably, just because, uh, you know, all the good rides and all the teams, uh, everything's uh, locked up. I mean, there's not a chance. I'm ready to go. I just, uh, you know, I was pretty late in the game. Feel like, uh, you know, Peyton Manning on the sidelines. Uh, oh. You know, just uh, without that $28 million bonus waiting for me. <laughs> Michael help you with that. Oh, yeah, no, not a problem. I know how hard it is to go out there and try to find money. That's why I'm doing TV. <laughs> but, I mean, what, I mean, what led to you uh, leaving the team? I mean, you had a couple more years on your contract, didn't you? Uh, yeah, it just, uh, I mean, it was, I don't even know that I can get it. You know, they, they, you know, Allen and the team, they put out a release. We agreed upon it. You know, they just want to, you know, Leave the past in the past. Move forward. They're obviously moving forward. They got two drivers, uh, real good drivers, with Belushi and Langdon. And uh, you know, Dell's moving on, and and he's got a great deal going. And uh, the last piece of the puzzle is for me to find something great going. And so I'm uh, really looking at this as a uh, a great opportunity for me to uh, you know strengthen my spot in the uh, NHRA world. Well, Larry, stick around here because we're going to watch second round. Nitro coming up, top fuel, and it will be the number one qualifier. Morgan Lucas coming out against last year's teammate, Sean Langdon. Now, Morgan Lucas is 6-0 and oh, racing Sean Langdon. So if you're going to look at something, what about this? What about the matchups? What about the teams that you're seeing now, Larry? Is there anything that you think goes on to a championship could this be one of them I tell you what the, you see in Morgan Lucas uh, you, you know the changes that he made over the winter time with, with the with the people and, and the setups and all that uh, the, I think that they have a, a renewed sense of energy over there uh, pairing Aaron Brooks and, and Rod Centorby back together I mean they, they work together uh, back at Schumacher's then with uh, Roger Burgess and the Mike Ashley days, now they're paired back, you know, and they started out the Allen Abbey team together on the funny car with Dell driving. Now now they're back again on a dragster. We haven't seen Aaron on a dragster, so it's uh, it's, uh, it's exciting, but but he's got to race Allen Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here's the Lucas Oil top fuel ladder as we start this uh, round number two, and we're about to see Lucas and Langdon, Antron Brown and Brandon Bernstein as we watch him drive for a new team, first time in his top fuel career. And I like this matchup too because obviously Morgan has really turned that team around, and you know even if the, if he doesn't go out and win the championship, you got to believe Larry, that the changes he made are definitely going to pay dividends. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a he's got a car that can go in the top five now, and uh, if you're in the top five, you can win the championship. Guys, down on the starting line, 75 crisp, cool degrees on the starting line. As Lanny McGlizzy says, the right lane for about the first two car lengths is going to be a little better on the starting line. After that, he says the left lane is better. Regardless, expect those numbers, performance speaking, to go down as the sun is totally obscured now. It's interesting to know, last in the first round, Morgan Lucas was the only top field team with lane choice to take the left-hand lane. He has lane choice now, and he's moved over to the right. And each one of these guys are going to want to try and get one over on each other on the starting line, too. It's a big round. Well, they race reaction time as much as they do the finish line, they don't they? In qualifying. Morgan got the advantage. Wow. A Still race. a good race, oh, Morgan oh, Lucas, whole that shot. hole shot. Gallup takes a look at it. Sean Langdon makes a career best run and loses. Morgan Lucas has been a tear on the lights all weekend, even going through qualifying. Had a good reaction time once again. A little bit of advantage over Sean Langdon. Sean Langdon pulling on strong. Just a great old side-by-side -side drag race. Yeah. I, t I tell you what. Uh... I feel for uh, Sean Langdon. I mean, Langdon's had my number a lot of times. Well, Morgan Lucas has got Sean Langdon's number. Hasn't beat him yet. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the tail of the tape on that run, because that was just a great old drag race. Margin of victory, 15 thousandths of a second or seven feet at the stripe. It's amazing you can have that tight of races with the way the cars are set up and the lanes and all that and have it be that close. It's uh, what an unbelievable round.